How's it going dudes? Welcome to the first of the worst board game of all time tournament challengers series. As games continue to try out for the Weeb Goat Tournament 2, we at the NBGA thought it to be a good idea to highlight some of the favorites to make it in so that you can get to know them better. The TC series will work to refresh your memory on especially awful games, coming out alongside the standard upload schedule and following this structure. First I'll show any segments where I've covered the game before so that you can get to know them. Next, we'll give lovers and haters testimonies, which showcase what the fans like about it and what the detractors can't stand. After that, we'll see if the game has an X factor. This is an especially egregious element of a game that no other competitor has, which could give it an edge in a matchup. Lastly, our experts will weigh in on the projected seeding that that game is expected to have if it can make the tournament. So to start off, let's look at our first potential tournament challenger, a cheesy game that many of you are already quite familiar with. Our final game of the night is so baffling, so confounding, so mind-bendingly nonsensical that those of you with weak constitutions may want to leave the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Rap Rat. Y'all ready? He's in a shopping center now, showing you how having fun is the aim. Hey, Rap Rat's the name, the video board game. Rap Rat Rap Rat! For kids who just want to have fun, hmm, so turn on your set, slide in the cassette and play. Rap Rat Rap Rat! rat. It's VHS, it's A-OK, -okay. it's kids entertainment that's here to stay. The video board game. Rap Rat Rap Rat! rat. So get mellow, get yellow, get the video board game, Rap Rat. He ain't no ghost, he's the most. The video board game, Rap Rat. I mean, it's over. It's all downhill from here. So, we've got a lot to unpack and a lot of questions to answer. First question, what am I looking at here? This is the video board game Rap Rat, the 1992 game that sees you try to collect the pieces for and assemble your cheese jigsaw puzzle before you run out of time. The game itself is extremely simple. Just roll the die, and if you roll the right color, you collect one of your pieces to add to your puzzle. That's it. If that was the whole game, we'd be done. We'd be fine. But the game comes with a VHS tape, and on that tape is the real meat of the game, as that is where the creature lives. The Rap Rat. I'm the rat with raz and all that pizzazz. I'm plastic and fantastic. I'm your very old Rap 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 Rat. Yeah! <laughs> rap Rat. This Cryptid is the host of the show and our game master, determining the flow of the game and acting as the timer. See, Rap Rat here lives in a wall of cheese, and if you are unable to finish your puzzle by the time he eats all the cheese on screen, you lose the game. That is, if you ever get to the actual game, because after a minute-long intro of whatever this is... There are gnomes in your garden, and they play slides on pink electric guitars. Ha! Huh. And cats can talk. They just don't want to. Rap Rat comes onto the screen and just spouts nonsense for nearly four straight minutes. Oh yeah! Now I could be wrong, 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 but I don't think I heard your song, song, song. So let's do it once more, and I'll give you a score. Everybody smile, please, <laughs> and say cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah! Right, 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 right. After our gracious host has finished introductions, we can begin the game. Rap Rat informs us that the oldest player will go first in game one. At least that's what you're supposed to gauge from whatever this demon is saying here. Now hands up the oldest, 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 cause you are the boldest. <laughs> What's your name? 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 Finally, we start the game. Roll the die and then pass it on to the next player and try to collect and assemble your puzzle as the time runs down. As the cheese is eaten, Rap Rat will occasionally butt in to interrupt the game. And based on whoever had the die when he appeared on screen, he will bestow a penalty to that player. These penalties are all over the place. They can be simple stuff like missing a turn or returning a puzzle piece, but then this vermin will sometimes freestyle on this crap and get creative with his punishments. Stop playing and act like a chicken for 20 seconds. Stop playing and put your hands on your head for a full minute, which is 
10% of the entire game. Miss an amount of turns equal to your age? Or return every single piece of your puzzle? This last one is especially devastating because it happens with 30 seconds left in the round. You just lose. He just says you lose. Why can he do this? If he asks you to do something, you must do it because he's Rap Rat and he's the boss. After you lose, this cretin comes out and gloats for a straight minute before letting you know that you can either stop the tape now or proceed to the next game in the most horrifying way possible. If you're tired of losing and taking a bruising, just press stop, stop, stop and re re rewind. And I'm on my way and we'll find time to play another day. But if you want another lashing of rap, 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 bashing, ooh, that's smashing because I'm gate crashing that arty rap, 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 rap party. I'll just count to five, but if I'm still around and alive, it will be time to jive, jive, jive. One, two, three, four, five. This is game free. And that is the video board game Rap Rat. At least the board game portion. See, our main villain of this experience has garnered quite the online reputation, featuring his own villain wiki page, and for good reason. See, the Rap Rat has run into some online controversy due to an expose creepypasta that highlighted that the darn thing is haunted by the entity Apparat, which is the real name of the Rap Rat. Which... That was a big hello, 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 hello. Now it's welcome to my show. So at ease, please, and smile. And everybody say cheese. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely is. This game is absolutely a... Abysmal. All you do in the game is roll a single die over and over, puzzle pieces come at random and dreadfully slow, and the entire time you are being harassed by a sociopathic rhyming rodent whose occupations are listed as video board game host and demon. Now that we're acquainted with this stellar title, what do others have to say about the rat with Raz? Those opposed to the rat say that the creature in the game is an absolute menace that can be legitimately terrifying to younger players. The penalties he puts out are also horribly unbalanced, with the skip an amount of turns equal to your age drawing particular ire from players. Finally, the game itself is all luck. Since all you do is roll the dice and see if you got the right space, you don't really do anything in the game unless the rat makes you act like a chicken, which could get very annoying. But fans of the game sing a different tune, saying that the game's ease of play makes it a great kids game. On top of that, the stress of the timer and the rat's nonsense keep a frantic pace, preventing it from getting boring. The different games with various difficulties add to the game's replayability as well, keeping repeat plays from getting stale. And it looks like this will be the first game to show off a brand new measurement for this tournament, X-Factors. X-Factors are parts of a game that are especially egregious, to the point where there is nothing like them in any other competitor. Our experts have identified the video board game Rap Rat's X-Factor as, of course, the Rap Rat. From the committee, the Rap Rat might be the single strangest board game component ever put to market. Everything about its design, from the Max Headroom style movement, to the fact that it barely even wraps, to the added haunted nature of the game stemming from the rat, just carries a sense of dread, unease, and annoyance. No other projected competitor has anything even remotely similar to this vermin in it, which could grant it an edge in future matchups. So now that we've gotten a good look at the game, let's send it over to our seating expert Joshua Jacobs to see where he believes the game will end up in the tournament. Glad to be back, Cam, and I cannot wait to see what the Rap Rat has in store for us. This has been one of the most hyped up games for a deep run, and that is for good reason. It is unique, it is striking, and most importantly of all, it is absolutely terrible. Most people get distracted by the rat, and I don't blame them, but don't forget that the actual gameplay is basically just Candyland with dice and harassment. Not to mention that this would be one of the most terrifying kids games I've ever seen even if it wasn't haunted by an actual demon. With all of these elements in the game's favor, I am projecting a solid number one to number two seed and a very deep run for the video board game Rap Rat. 
Very high expectations from Josh there, and I'm sure we're all excited to watch this beast in action. Remember that projections are not final, and new games are being submitted every day. So the only way to know which games make it in for sure is if their name is called during the official selection show. So send in those games you would like to see, have a shot at the title, and stay tuned as we get closer to finding the worst board game of all time. Signing off for the NBGA, I am Cam Sandwich. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Rap, 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 rats inside.